Hey everyone, welcome to Heart Health with Michelle. Today I'm going solo to just talk to you for a couple of minutes about a topic that comes up so much in my private practice. And that topic is calcium scores. Many times people have an elevated calcium score above zero and they have a lot of health anxiety. This might've come to them as a shock. They thought they were eating healthy. They were exercising. They were following you know, a general healthy diet and they have an elevated calcium score. So to begin, let's talk about what that even means. So when you have a coronary artery calcium score above zero, it means that there is calcified plaque in your arteries, meaning that you have plaque in the arteries that's causing the arteries to constrict and increasing your risk of cardiovascular disease. We have a couple of goals when it comes to having a high calcium score. We want to, it means A, that you are in this active process of atherosclerosis. And we want to make sure that we are stopping that active process process as much as possible. We want to prevent the plaque formation process from happening. We want to halt that progression. That's A. But we also want to stabilize the plaque that's there. Because if you have plaque in your arteries, that plaque can become dislodged and it can cause rupture. It can cause blockages. It can be it can be vulnerable to increase your risk of cardiovascular events such as a heart attack or stroke. So we want to address both of those. And, you know, you would go to your doctor for medical management, but we need to also look at this from a nutrition and lifestyle perspective. We now put you at a higher risk of cardiovascular disease. So our biomarkers, the blood tests that we're looking at, need to be made sure that we're getting them to stricter standards so that we can keep LDL low. If we keep it below 70, the susceptibility of it becoming plaque is lower. But we also need to understand that atherosclerosis is an active process. So we need to stop it at every step of the way. So we need to make sure that we are addressing inflammation through diet, insulin resistance through diet, and oxidation through diet, because LDL needs to become oxidized in order to form plaque in the arteries. We need to make sure that your blood vessels are healthy and that there's no aggravation in the blood vessel because that can lead to more blood clots. So we need to address all of these issues in order to stop that atherosclerotic process and to stabilize the plaque from a nutrition and lifestyle perspective. I have seen so many people go on a statin after a calcium score, but not really fine tune their diet from a heart health perspective, and then still have a cardiovascular event. I want to make sure you're adding in nutrition into the puzzle in order to really improve your heart health. Um, there's so many things that we need to look at. So there's certain foods that are going to cause inflammation in the arteries, and there are many foods that help to reduce inflammation in the arteries. Same with insulin resistance, same with oxidative stress, same with lipid optimization and blood pressure optimization. I want you to focus on what are you adding to your diet and are you getting it in therapeutic volumes that give you successful results? I'm more than happy to help you. I have group settings that go through all of these underlying root causes. It's called my six-week heart optimization group program. And I also have one-on-one -on -one counseling programs that take a very personalized approach to optimize your heart health. If you love to join me, I have my next cohort that begins on July 7th, and I would be more than happy to have you. I keep the group small. It's 20 individuals. It's six weeks of live live lectures that are also recorded, and you also have complete access to me. So you can ask me your questions in the live lectures. You can ask me the questions in the in the private Facebook community. I'm here for you every step of the way. I want you to gain confidence. I want you to reduce the risk of that fear that you have around this calcium score. And I truly want you to protect your heart. Um, so feel free to join me. If you have any questions, you can feel free to email me at michelle at entirelynourished.com or feel free to visit my website for more information at entirelynourished.com. I hope this was helpful and I look forward to hearing from you soon.